In addition to the Native American community, hunters, anglers, recreational backpackers, and others urged the DNR to deny the request for a land lease. There's 120 acres of state land on the plains that's always been open for the public to use, and this land grows a wonderful blueberry crop, it grows sugar plums, and there's a lot of wildlife on it. Now they're going to fence it off, and they're also going to fence off the roads through it, which is going to limit access to other areas. With a regional history steeped in mining, what is it about the word sulfide mining that strikes fear in the hearts of so many? What's unique about the eagle ore body is that it has a very high sulfide content. And uh, that's good for the ore content. That gives a high percentage of nickel and copper. But it also gives a high degree of concern for the environment, especially for water quality. Um, the problem is um, there are certain types of sulfides, um, iron sulfides, that when they're exposed to air and water, they create acid and then that acid in turn can leach metals that are toxic to humans and to fish from the ore body. The resulting mixture of sulfuric acid and heavy metals, also known as acid mine drainage, filters into ground and surface waters, tainting watersheds by leaching and mobilizing heavy metals like mercury, arsenic, lead, manganese, and copper. In drinking water, these metals can lead to birth defects, and neurological disorders in children, among other impacts to human health. Basically, the problem with sulfide mining is, is this track record. If you look at it, uh, as far as being an environmentally friendly process, it fails 90% of the time. Of particular concern to anglers, outdoor enthusiasts, and biologists is the location of the mine beneath a world-class trout stream, the Salmon Trout River. It is the home of the last surviving population of the rare and very special coaster brook trout, which is a unique population of brook trout that lives in Lake Superior and uses the river to spawn. The threat of a sulfide mine received nationwide attention when American Rivers, a national nonprofit organization committed to protecting and restoring rivers, named the salmon trout to its list of most endangered rivers in 2006.